Alright, if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, definitely go check it out, dude. This is Courtney's new daily. How sick is this thing? As not just a daily, but like your girlfriend's daily. Like she literally got a right hand drive car before me. God damn it. It needs a little bit of love, but like we're gonna give it to it and it's gonna be it's gonna be a sick car. So definitely check that video out if you have not. What are we doing today, buddy? Uh today we're gonna make the trailer dope. I was gonna say like I was gonna say build a dope trailer, but that's what we're doing. We're building a dope trailer. So we just got back to Princess Auto. I picked up like a trailer light kit. We also got ratchet straps because I don't have any of those and I definitely need some. And what else we got? We got tie downs also. So we can like weld these guys on there, pull them down there so that we can actually like properly tie stuff down to the trailer. But today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Like we don't normally, we've never built a trailer. And like this isn't, it's kind of car related but it's kind of not and I'm really excited for it. We actually gotta take this thing to the dump to start this. Oh, we got water coming in here. There was a little puddle outside and it just sleeped in. First things first. I couldn't wait for us to build this thing. I had too much stuff collecting. So I kind of already loaded it. So I think we gotta start by unloading it. Okay, so what are we doing first? We need to take measurements, find out the material that we need, and wood, we need wood. Well, let's fire it up, contractor Brad. I'm thinking that we should use angle all the way around. Yeah, I think angle's cheap. Yeah. Cheaper than like tubed, and it'll do the job fine. I think we should do tube on the side. Why is this thing in meters? Oh. <laughs> Meters. I don't know, dude. I'm I don't Canada. know. I don't even know. That's like what? Well, how many feet are in a meter? Three? At uh, three point something. This weather is just miserable. It's just miserable. Yo, how cool is this? This trailer fits like perfectly sideways in here with like the ideal amount of room around it to work on. It's just, it's just, for some reason, this is fun. It's not like we're not building a car hauler and this is never meant to haul anything like that. Again, because I know the people that commented on when I first purchased it, they're like, why would you buy a single axle? It's a utility trailer. We're just trying to make a really dope utility trailer that we can also put like ATVs or snowmobiles or whatever we want. Engines. Engines, transmissions, and dirt bikes, and whatever else we decide we want to get on here, so this can be big enough, this is big enough for ATVs, but like small enough that it's not absurdly big. I feel like that wasn't the best way to word that, but you guys know what I mean. So for anybody that wasn't here in the video where we picked this thing up, this used to be a tent trailer. You can do this two ways. You can either buy it with the tent on there for like a hundred bucks, because if once the pop-up is kind of ruined and moldy and stuff, no one wants it. But we didn't have any way to get rid of the pop-up, so what we did was we, we bought it off someone who had already gotten rid of the pop-up. So he literally took this trailer, took the tent part off, and sold it to us. That's all. That's what you guys are looking at. So this is an X pop-up trailer, and we're gonna make it into a sick ass utility trailer. Then we went out yesterday, picked up a bunch of steel. So this is gonna be kind of like railings around the whole outside, and then like a little slip gate. I think we're gonna put at the back. And our plan is to make that out of wood, and then make the whole floor like wood planks. Rise and shine. But yeah, I don't know. I have literally no idea what this is gonna look like by the end of this video. But I'm assuming it's gonna be cool. Our plan is to just make it as cool as we can. We gotta start by just gutting this thing and then we're just literally gonna wing it. I feel like they're gonna be in there for a while. Dude, once we got this thing naked, 7x11 is a big ass utility trailer. It really is. Like seeing just the frame, this thing is huge. We found these little pop-up supports, um, cause like this used to be a trailer. I didn't even think about those being there, but I think when I was just messing with them quickly, if you pull it, you should be able to just pull it and drop it down. And like, that's how you would support the trailer. When you go camping or whatever, you just like pull this guy and then it's kind of, it's kind of seized, but the whole thing would come down and that would support the trailer. So we have two of these. I think we'll, I don't know what we're gonna do with them. I don't know if we should just leave them for fun or just lob them off for weight reduction. 
make it a race car. Probably just lob them off, but it's cool they're still there. The ones on the front are have been robbed, but. It's such an easy project for you guys to do at home. Like this is, you get a trailer for cheap, for like a couple hundred bucks, and then you can sell it, flip it for like 1600. Yeah, like saying this is like a snowmobile trailer, cause that's the season that we're coming up on, but like say it's like an ATV trailer, or we say it's like a snowmobile trailer, and we take, we make it so that this side completely comes off, and you can drive your ATVs or snowmobiles up on there. All we have to do is add like one foot so it'll fit three ATVs and you could sell this thing for like almost two grand. And we're so far into it with like materials and the price of the trailer and everything, I'm like 600 bucks. And also you can get another look at this axle here. So this thing is like super weird. Um, it's just called a torsion axle. There's no like leafs or anything to support it. It's kind of different. You can't really adjust it. All you can do is take right there where it's bolted and space it so the whole axle sits lower but those they look so rusty dude i don't even know if it's worth it i don't even really care if, if it was easy we could gain some height but like it, we don't need the height it's just the utility trailer i was expecting the axle to be like on top yeah i, I was expecting it to be like leaf springs yeah i'm getting lightheaded i'm gonna pass out <laughs> We just found out something super cool. So I had this uh, this knuckle from the, when I bought it for the Civic, but it was the wrong one. And I was like, hey, I wonder if this bolt pattern is the same as the trailer bolt pattern. Trailer wheels are four by 100, dude. So when the Civic's new wheels show up, we could probably put the old wheels on the trailer. It would just like look funny, but it'd be cool. Do you want to make my day? Just bring me an iced coffee. So Brad got all these posts up. Obviously some of them are like look like they're leaning a little bit forwards or backwards. But when we put um, when we put the angle on, it'll all straighten itself out. Can I say why it looks like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the reasoning why like if you look down the line, some of these are leaned more forward. It's just because it's on angle and the angle's kind of bent. But if you go like that, it'll straighten everything out. Like you can just see it's flexing right there. It's like there's parts in the angle that have like already just warped just from all the usage. Yeah. But once we get like one solid piece across the top, yeah. they'll all straighten themselves out yeah, and be nice. Exactly. I guess I also never told you guys too like what we're doing. So we went out and bought one by one tubing. I think we just showed you that we got it, but we didn't show you anything else. We got one by one tubing, seven and 11 and 11 feet of angle. So this is the one by one tubing. We picked up like 28 feet or something stupid of this. And then we also picked up these angle pieces, right? So essentially what our game plan is, I guess it's easier to explain this to you guys now. Cut these up into 18 inch posts. And we're just gonna run this many posts. Brad did all the math, it all worked out. It looked, it looked really good. And then, for example, we're gonna go like this. Like I said, this one isn't the right length, but to top it off, we're gonna put the one by one angle kind of over here, and then it'll weld right there. It'll weld up nice, and then it'll keep it all in line. Right? Yeah. So you'll see like the little weld there, but that's kind of the purpose. That like, gives you a perfect welding spot, no? Yeah. And then what we did for the end is we bought this C channel and we're gonna cut the C channel in half and pretty much put it like right here at the end like this. And then we're just gonna build a gate that slides in and out of the C channel. So you could probably make this super elaborate, but like we're, <laughs> we're just having fun. We're just trying to have a project. I could have just went out and bought a trailer, but I didn't want to. I wanted a project. I wanted to have fun and build. Like I, we like doing this stuff. We built stuff ourselves, that's what we do. This wiring was a shit show. I don't know who did this last, but like there is, so many different points where it has been cut and then tapped into and tapped into and tapped into and then up here it's like been cut and tapped here, cut and tapped here. Do you want to pop the lights open and see what we get with the lights? Yeah. So we can kind of just go from there. Oh nice, it's got a little side, side reflector on it with a bulb. Oh. Dude. A new harness. Okay. Hell yeah dude, that's literally, thank you. Yeah. 
thank you for being like, we should open this box. I was about to start doing this. The reason we started filming again was because I grabbed the, the harness and I was like, I'm gonna start cutting stuff up. I'm gonna start going crazy. And Brad's like, let's open the lights and see what we get in the box. Yeah, like, Dude, that was lucky. You would have spent like two hours pulling the whole thing out, retrying, like rewiring. Yeah, that would have been stupid. It's Why do we have electrician stuff? That's how it wants us. Oh my gosh. This is what you use in a house, <laughs> not in a trailer. <laughs> Alright, this is looking super good. So I actually found a little bit of loom in my toolbox, which was cool. I was able to loom this guy up, which makes it look just a little bit nicer. So we just ran out of wire on the welder. Brad just ran out to grab some more wire. Like, I'm sure some of you guys are welders, and you're gonna be like, oh, that's terrible, but his welds definitely are better than mine. And I think I also wanna just install these side marker lights. These are literally just, like, marker lights. And I think I want them, like, mm, I'm thinking, like, maybe up here. I don't, I don't know if this is too far up. I'm gonna say let's do it. We're gonna put it right here, right there. We're gonna line it up with that little post. It might be really far forward to some people. I don't know. I don't build trailers. This whole thing is kind of weird for me. Like this is, it's cool, but I don't like, I, I don't know if there's proper ways to do this stuff. I don't know at all. Incoming screw hole. You like that? Is that the side marker lights there? Yeah. I popped it apart and screwed it in. I did the other side also, but I took the other side off already. I'm gonna take this side back off too so we can paint it. What do you think of this? I like that. Just like, literally, you can weld it like right now. Okay. So we got this all done. Brad came around and ground down all the welds that he wasn't super happy with, but like it all looks super good. I did them all. You just did every weld? Every weld. Oh, that's sick. It looks good. For two idiots who don't know what we're doing, I think we did a good job. But it's getting super late. It took a long time to get all the welds finished up, ground down, and then just the whole frame kind of cleaned up. We're not painting the whole trailer. There's no point. Underneath what this looks like garbage, Underneath it looks like this. This is what I cleaned it up to be. So it's still 100% mint. I just, there's no point of painting it. You'll never see it. All right, so we let this thing dry all night. I think it actually looks really, really good. Now that it's like all black, you can kind of get a way better feel for like how nice it's looking. And then this morning we bolted all the lights up. These little brackets we made are actually like super nice. Side marker lights, everything worked too. We plugged it in, everything was like just working the way it should, which is really cool. Picked up 12 foot planks of just like pressure treated like deck boards pretty much. We could have done like a plywood or something. That's probably a lot easier. But we were like, we were sitting there thinking and we're like, if we do plywood, it's kind of going to look a little janky. And then we still got to make a door at the end. So we made this thing 10 feet now. This thing was 11 feet long with the bumper. We cut the bumper off, now it's a seven by 10 trailer. So what I thought is, is we got 12 foot planks. They'll run from front to back and then we'll take the extra two feet or whatever that's left. We'll trim it down to 18 inches and it'll just kind of come up like this. And we'll just do a bunch of boards that look like they're running up, like down and then up at the end. And we'll run them across and then we picked up two of these little beams that we're just gonna put across top and bottom just to kind of make a secure little gate, if that makes any sense. We were also gonna pick up some new fenders, but at the price of new fenders, we realized why don't we just use these ones? Like sure, they're not ideal, they're made out of, what do you, what, you say this stuff's called? Like Galvalume. Galvalume? Galvanized aluminum. For what it needs to do, it looks fine. And these fenders are already fitted to this trailer, like they're meant to be there. So that's why we're not gonna go ahead and get new ones. So then this guy can go back in his little home. 
Oh yeah, that looks way better. The trailer had such a jankiness to it when we bought it just because that stuff made it look terrible. Yo, this is looking so good. But again, the hardware took forever because I had to drill little pilot holes in every single one because these are all going down into the metal. But it looks so tight now that it's done. And honestly, I'm really digging the silver wheel wells. I, I know everybody's gonna have their opinion, but like, I kind of really like it. Like, it just gives a little extra flair to it, I think. The only thing that did happen was that we kind of measured it wrong. So what I did was I butted these boards right up against the poles that we put, and they come all the way across. And then here, the way that I cut the boards, I essentially saved almost one full piece. And with that, I was able to just trim off the side and I just trimmed a little piece that goes here and then obviously continue the same thing back there. So there's just like a little sliver off of this board. Honestly, you don't even really see it. And if you do see it, you're just, you're just like, oh yeah, that makes sense. It looks good. We're making really good progress and I'm super excited. Like now that this is all screwed down, I'm so excited. Like it, it looks so good. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that looks really good. That couldn't be better. That literally couldn't fit better. It's a little funny because when, when the wood gets treated, it gets this like dark end on it. And then where I cut it, it gets a lighter end. They'll eventually look the same once they weather a little bit. These are just kind of like temporary. I'm gonna have to go to the store and just buy one, like a, like a pin that I can just put a little, a little rod that I can put a pin through and then I don't have to worry about undoing this, but I just made this super loose just enough to like hold it there, but I can come up and undo it with my hands for now. And then we got this little foot down here. This has been a couple days actually of just, yesterday was terrible, yeah? <laughs> yesterday was the worst day for me to try and get anything done. We literally went to the store four times. I kept forgetting things. It was one of those days where like, we woke up kind of late and we, we ran to the store, we bought wood. And then we got home, we're like, oh, we forgot screws. We ran to the store, we got screws. And then we got home, we're like, man, my saw's broken. We went back to the store and got a saw. Like, it was just one of those days where it, nothing was going right. Unfortunately, Brad's not here anymore, so I can't plug it in to show you guys the lighting. It was, I should have done that while he was here. But the lights do work. I had a little clip of them, like, coming on when he hit the brakes. But it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I was so frustrated yesterday and I'm so stoked with how this looks. This looks like a, like a store-bought trailer. Look at this thing. This is so tight, dude. So the only thing we forgot to do <clears throat> was put a foot on here. Um, but this thing's kind of flimsy and janky and I, I, now that we added all this wood to it, it is quite a bit heavier. So I'm kind of wanting to go replace this one with one with a wheel. Um, so I can just kind of wheel it up and down my driveway or whatever the case is. So I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about that right now, I'm gonna wait. The battery box I didn't install because we don't actually have a battery yet. And I was kind of thinking maybe I can put like a bin right here. What I'm gonna try and do is go buy one of those like small toolboxes. Try and find one on Craigslist or something for like 10 bucks that's like super old and beat up and just weld it in there. And then what I can do is like divide a little section for the battery and then a section for the toe straps. Because ideally I just want a little box right here so the toe straps are always with the trailer. I never have to think about where the toe straps are. I know where they are. And by toe straps, I totally mean ratchet straps. But that, that's what we're thinking for up here. So we didn't do anything yet. I notched around all these in the front. That way it came right up nice and flush with this. Notched it in this piece as well. These boards cut off and lined up perfectly. This one did not need to be cut. And then this one, I had to put a little notch in it to get around the wheel well, but. And I'm a big fan of how the, Brad thought we should do the boards kind of sideways. And then I was like, well, it might look cool this way. And I'm kind of really excited that we went away. I'm kind of really happy that we went this way because it looks like they just kind of run up the back. Like it, it looks really cool. Boys, we just built a DIY trailer. Keep in mind, I had absolutely no experience going into this. I've never owned a trailer. I've never built anything really welded this much or, or I've taken on a lot of projects, but nothing near the realm of this. I'm so happy with it. It just looks so official, like just the little side light, the brake lights make it look really, really nice. And I like how that has a little license plate holder with it. This is super exciting to see a final product. It gives me more confidence to like do this again. I paid $400 for the shell that we picked up originally of a trailer. I paid 40 bucks for lights. I paid 150 bucks for wood. I paid about 150 bucks for the metal. And then just like screws and all that nonsense stuff. So like, it's still really cheap for, for a seven by 10 utility trailer that looks like this. Like this, this, this is just asking for me to go buy some ATVs and dirt bikes and shit. 
I'm gonna stop blabbing. We did it, the trailer is complete. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was definitely different and if you guys did, please make sure you like it so I know you guys enjoyed it and I hope, I hope we get to do something like this again. This was actually really fun. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, stay committed.